Just as shadows are cast where there is light, history hides away more than one truth. The wait is over. Let's begin. I'm gonna start this video, man. Man, I'm happy. Woo. It has been. It has been what? Yeah, six years. Yep, six years. Find another Soul Calibur. Man, y'all understand how happy I am. Like, Soul Calibur 6 is finally coming out. Because I know I've been asking for like years. I was like, man, when are going to make a Soul Calibur 6? When are going to make a Soul Calibur 6? And usually a lot of like gaming properties, when they take forever to come out with something, I usually just give up on it. I'm like, well, I guess they're just going to come out when they come out with it. There's two gaming properties that they're supposed to be bringing back that I'm excited about. I already talked about one on this channel, and I appreciate all the views I got on that, too. I got a lot of views on it. It was the Final Fantasy VII Remake. That is a big one I'm excited about because I will have it on PS4. The other one that I'm really excited about right now, of course, as I just mentioned, Soul Calibur 6. Yes. And now for all the kids on this channel who don't know the history of Soul Calibur, I well, I've owned, I want to go back and try to own them all again. But I've owned every Soul Calibur. Um, I had Soul Calibur on Dreamcast. One of the best fighting games. It, it was the best fighting game I played on the Dreamcast next to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'm sorry, I just like Soul Calibur so much better. Like, I, I just, I always, I would sit down and geek on that for hours before I went to school. Sometimes before I went to school, uh, when I got out of school, I would come home, I would play Soul Calibur. So, I actually played Soul Calibur before I played Soul Blade, because I actually went back and played Soul Blade later, but, and then, uh, Soul Calibur 2, yeah, I, I reserved my copy for Soul Calibur 2, because I love Soul Calibur 1 so much, and I love Soul Calibur 2 also, uh, and then, you know, and then we got 3, with, uh, the little mini game in it, which I thought was really cool, and then they had the, uh, the creature on character mode in it, which I thought was really neat too. That was the first time they they added creature on character was Soul Calibur three, and then they continued with they continued that trend with Soul Calibur four and five. Um, now, my my thing with Soul Calibur, the 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 issues I usually I, I have a wet my hair, but usually the problems I have with Soul Calibur now the the, the more recent problems I've had with it is the um, is the inability to evolve let me put it like that I understand that you have a fighting game franchise and it kinda it, it kinda you, you, it, it's hard to stay uh, consistent consistently good um, a big example of that was uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter actually went through that for a long period of time before they finally changed it. They finally evolved the series because after a while it was kind of the same Street Fighter. Like, like they made like ten Street Fighters in a row and they were all the same game. Like, it's like when you got down to it, it really didn't change much. It was just the same fighting game. Probably different characters, different soundtrack, different stages, whatever you want to say different. But let's all admit to let's all admit it to ourselves. All the Street Fighter games were the same. Um, 
the only the only ones that had like the subtle changes or the better changes was Street Fighter Alpha. That's why everybody says Street Fighter Alpha is one of the best old school Street Fighter games ever because it was the one to actually do something different. Put in a world tour mode. Put in a mode where you can teach your character new moves and stuff like that. Put in a mode where you can level your characters up. So that's why a lot of people consider that a classic. Now I feel like with Soul Calibur it's it's regressing because if we go back to Soul Calibur 5 5 didn't make a whole lot of money. 5 was like I think Soul Calibur 5 only made I, I think it barely even broke the million copies mark. And I honestly if you ask me I feel like the Soul Calibur 6 thing is a tactic to get people to miss it a lot. And then when it comes back six years later, people are going to hop on that bandwagon again. Uh, regardless, if the game is good, mediocre, or bad, which I doubt it's going to be a bad game, but we're going to check it out. That's right. I am going to watch this gameplay trailer. Um, now, they started putting out gameplay trailers on here. Uh, one was Mitsurugi and Sophidia. I think that's the first one they put out. And then they put out a video for Kill Like a Nightmare. Um, Sophidia is one of my characters that I use in there. So we're going to watch the Sophidia. Why well, use Sophidia and Mitsurugi? So we're going to watch the Sophidia and Mitsurugi one. Um, I already have the video up. And I am going to uh, uh, give this a watch. So. Let's go, Mitsurugi versus Sophidia gameplay. All right, who? Warriors cross swords beneath the gaze of the ancient gods. The I am ready to fight you. Battle one, fight. Not to say that Soul Calibur has never looked good. Soul Calibur, even if you look at Soul Calibur on a Dreamcast, the first Soul Calibur, it looks like an amazing game. Because, um, you know, with the with the Dreamcast capabilities that they were able to push even back, back in 2000, 1999, 2000, or 98, I believe is when Soul Calibur came out, 98. So, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I, okay, so... I think graphically, the game looks amazing. Uh, I see all the new mechanics they're, they're trying to incorporate in there with the the dodge mechanic. Look, like you 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 dance around like Voldo, or you 
you pop it and lock it at a club or something like that. You know, you just get on the move, you know. So I think that looks amazing. My problem with this is this looks like this looks like Soul Calibur 2. This looks like Soul Calibur 3. This looks like Soul Calibur 4. This looks like Soul Calibur 5. And that's a problem. Even down to the voice recordings. Um, I mean, it just looks like they took... That It looks like they... And if you play the other Soul Caliburs, like, all these lines sound familiar. I just... I played Soul Calibur 4 not that long ago, and some of the characters from this trailer were saying the same lines in that game. And that game came out in 2008. Like, it's like, come on. Like, are, are we serious here? It's been six years. Six years since Soul Calibur 5 came out. You mean to tell me y'all couldn't get new voice actors? Y'all couldn't write new lines for these characters? Like, y'all literally just copied and pasted the same lines from a game that came out 20 years ago? Are you serious? It's like, wow. Oh my goodness. Like, look at look at Mortal Kombat, man. Mortal Kombat has evolved. Like, none of the more Mortal Kombat 10 does not play like any of the other Mortal Kombats at all. You could see the big difference between all those games. You, you tell me you play 9, you play Mortal Kombat 9, and then you go to 10, and you can play them the exact same way you can. They're different because they've evolved. Hell, as much as as much as much shit as I talked about Street Fighter, Street Fighter has evolved. It looks different. I remember seeing uh, trailers of Street Fighter Five versus Street Fighter Four. I was like, "Wow, these graphics look way better than Street Fighter Four graphics." The game sucked. It was, I mean, they, I mean, they, they had the audacity to put out a brand new game and charge you twice for the same game that they should have made right the first time. But I'm just saying though. The point I'm trying to make here is at least Street Fighter evolved. Like Street Fighter does not Street Fighter does not look or feel like the other Street Fighter games anymore. It's evolving now. They're 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 going in a new direction with it. That I like. I think it's amazing. I just feel like I don't know, man. I, like this this feels like this feels like Soul Calibur five, the DLC version. Like this all it feels like. This is like, this feels like, well, okay, the fans didn't like Soul Calibur 5 this way, so we're going to redo Soul Calibur 1, but we're going to call it Soul Calibur 6, but then we're going to put in old characters in the story modes and stuff like that, and then we're just going to uh, uh, improve upon the graphics and the fighting a little bit. It, like, it's just like, it's like y'all really didn't, like, what was y'all doing in six years, man? Because it doesn't look like you were working on this. It does not look like this was being worked on in, in, over the period of six years. Like, you cannot tell me a gap between two games within six years, and this is all we got. Now, of course, the game's not out yet, so I don't want to make judgments. But just based off of what I've seen in the trailer so far, it looks, it looks like the same game. It looks like this, the music is recycled. It sounds like the lines are recycled. Like we are like even in Injustice, you got characters coming out acknowledging each other. Even if they don't know each other, they're acknowledging that someone Okay, I was just checking my battery life. Yeah, we're good. So but this is like the characters don't come out and acknowledge each other. Like, you know, like at least like even characters in these games like Injustice, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, even if these characters don't know each other, they'll engage in conversation. And sometimes the the, converse, the dialogue will be hilarious. It'll be memorable. Like now it's just like, it's like they just took the same lines from old Soul Calibur games and just like copied and pasted them. It was like, well, fuck it. We'll just give y'all the same lines that y'all been hearing for the past 20 years. It's like, come on, man. Like, this doesn't even look like y'all even, like... It doesn't look like on certain aspects y'all gave a shit, really. Y'all just, y'all was like, yeah, they're gonna buy this game, though, because it hasn't been out for six years. And they miss it. I mean, like, I don't know, man. I, 
I'm going to reserve the rest of my judgment for when the game comes out, but come on, man. Don't buy into the hype with, because of your nostalgia. It looks like that's all Namco's trying to do is just play off of people's nostalgia. Now, while I buy the game, I might... I'm, it, it depends on how I feel about it later, but it, it looks like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be waiting, man. Like, if it... If it literally is just like Soul Calibur four or the last five Soul Calibers, I might not get it, man, because it's just like this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Like you cannot give us the same game over and over and over again, like you're doing with Tekken. Namco's doing the same shit with Tekken because Tekken Seven plays just like Tekken Six. Hell, I'll go back further. Tekken Tekken Seven plays like Tekken Five. There's no difference. You can do the same thing. You can customize your characters in Tekken 5. You can get stuff for your characters. You can put it on them. It, like, it's no different. I don't know, man. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think, man. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe maybe I maybe you're, I have to just wait for the game to come out to make a fair assessment, which is true. I will give you that. I do have to wait for the game to come out. It is not yet out yet. Uh, there's no like exact release date yet they're saying it's supposed to be sometime this year in 2018 so i don't know man reserve my judgments but tell me what you think in the comments and i'll talk to y'all later peace